Welcome to whiskey.com. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. Today we have a look at the Highland Park Drakkar. It's a one liter bottle, 40% ABV, and well, it's uh, intended for the travel value. You might not be able to find it on the shelves of your local store. Uh, with a Drakkar, uh, or Drakkar was the name of the oak longboats of the Vikings who colonized the Orkney Islands where the Highland Park distillery resides in the 8th century. Here you see this dragon shape front of the ships. On the back, please savor responsibly. Yes, please savor responsibly. Highland Park Distillery, Kirkwall, Orkney Islands, Scotland. I visited the Orkney Islands in 2004. Also the uh, Highland Park Distillery. I was there with a cruise ship and uh, I was the guide to a, a hundred headed group uh, of enthusiasts, northern enthusiasts, and uh, guided them through the distillery with their malting floors and the still house and the old wooden buildings. It was wonderful. Yeah. Highland Park always celebrates its distinctive Viking influence. Norsemen sailed in magnificent oak longships to colonize the islands in the 8th century. The most legendary of them, the boats, all was the Drekkar, the dragon-headed longship. Highland Park is one of the oldest distilleries in Scotland. It was established in 1798, so an 18th century distillery. wonderful aroma. This is a whiskey I like. I like the very best. There is a hint of smoke. Not this medicinal phenolic smoke, but a, yeah, a fire, a burning fire on the seashore. And beside this smoke, there's a fruitiness, a dark fruitiness coming from the sherry casks. And below this, the zest of oranges appear. Sweet oranges with a slight zest, a citrus zest. And all these three influences, the smoke of the dried, peat dried barley, the aroma from the sherry and the taste, the original taste of the spirit, the distillery character it's called. All those three combine to a very, very complex nose. Oh. Wonderful. <clears throat> and in the back, a lighter fruitiness appears like cherries, those dark red cherries. <clears throat> and this fruitiness, this cold or cooling, nose cooling fruitiness combines with the aroma of the wood fire. Wonderful. The mouthfeel could be stronger. Three or six ABV more would be preferable, but the aftertaste is strong. 
yolkiness. Dark fruits, hints of, of coffee. And still the orange is present. Very long, very well balanced. How old is this whiskey? I don't know. They do not write it on the label. So <clears throat> the dark color, it's not artificially colored. The dark color suggests it's 12 years and above, but there might be a younger cask mixed in for a stronger aroma for younger more vibrant aromas and this younger cask would well tear the age down to five or seven years and <clears throat> typically the distilleries do not want to put those small figures on the bottles so they say no age on it taste it and you know how old it is or not <laughs> Sweet and vanilla. And the peat smoke. No, not the peat smoke. The firewood. I have to taste it a second time. Mmm. The second time, the taste in your mouth is much stronger. The second time, the alcohol appears on your tongue. The influence is much stronger. It's dangerously demanding for more. So be careful. So it's a very good one. And the 40% ABV, yes, I can stand with that. The second sip is much better than the first one. And the aromatic nose is wonderful, beautiful. And the aftertaste still there, still present. Whenever you get your fingers on this bottle, take it. It's worth it. Thank you for watching whiskey.com and stay tuned.